Good morning guys. Well actually good afternoon. It's just gone midday here. Um, seeing as uh, the YouTube, the last video, was really fun and uh, had a great amount of views and reception, good amount of comments, um, really positive comments as well. Like it was just an absolutely great video to look back on. Very kind of humbling. Like I looked back at the video myself and I was like that was just a great experience. I actually wanted to focus a little bit more on that kind of stuff, so some things that are going on basically outside of bodybuilding. Um, you know, obviously bodybuilding is something I do daily, every day, have been since I was like, well, competitively since I was 18 years old. Um, that's never going to change, I'm always going to train, um, but I feel like it's a really good time to try and show you some of the other things about me as a person, because competitive bodybuilding isn't going to happen forever. You know, I'm not always going to be the professional bodybuilder who's getting up on stage and competing, so there's going to be other things that I like to do after this. There's going to be other things I want to share with you guys because the YouTube channel will exceed my time on stage. So I thought it was just a great time to kind of start introducing some of the other attributes to what is my life. Um, hopefully you enjoy those things. And um, I feel good about sharing them because I feel like you get to know me a little bit more. And then in the comments, I get to know you guys a little bit more. So we have been in here before. This is my... Um, this is like my man den in my house. So you can see there's some like cool little things in here that are just kind of personal to me. Some stuff on the shelves and that. Uh, nice picture of Luke. Got some, uh, a guest posing trophy. Uh, my Olympia medal for attending the Olympia. A couple of candles from my good friend Louis at AC London. So you check that out. I'll definitely do a little shout for him because they're really cool. One's been burning in the corner. Um, you know, the belts I've collected over the years, different companies I've been with. Ones I'm not with anymore, but still, it's part of my history as bodybuilding, so I like to keep those things. Uh, yeah, just some personalised stuff around the room. So really, what I wanted to show you today, actually, was my, my actual PC setup, because, you know, I've kind of skimmed over this topic before, but I haven't actually given you any kind of information on it. And there's a lot of people out there that do want to know the exact setup, you know, specifications. What do I actually do on this? Uh, what can it do? What's it capable of? So I thought it'd be a great time today to kind of just run through that. Uh, and because it's a passion of mine, so I feel like it's my channel. I want to share some of my own passions other than the bodybuilding uh, So I have every right to show you some of my other cool stuff. So we're gonna have a look at the PCs up and um, I'll explain some of the stuff as we go through so I am referring to my phone here with the specs for this PC. Uh, this is a custom built from PC specialist uh, my friend Mitch kind of had this spec for me and then um, I had it built and uh, sent to my house so with the, you know, my, my why I was asking for, for anyone that's interested who is interested in the PC, what do you want from it? I basically just said I want something powerful enough to be able to obviously play games in very high resolution, but also to be able to stream on itself without using an external, because a lot of time when people stream they'll use a second PC or a laptop. Um, I used to stream from the PlayStation 5, um, and what I did after a while was I actually then started to use my laptop as a, a secondary device to use Streamlabs, which is a uh, streaming software. That way you can just personalize your stream a little bit more, overlays, um, you can have some like cool emotes. You can basically create a, a channel that's more fun to interact with for people. So obviously you can stream directly from the PlayStation 5, but it's a very minimal kind of Twitch setup. Um, so I would always opt for having a, a, a device that allows you to use Streamlabs. So what I wanted, obviously, like I'm saying, is I wanted a PC that was able to do all that itself without having to use my laptop anymore. Um, the laptop now s simply gets used as a viewing station for my stream just to make sure it's looking okay. So while I'm you know, playing my games or talking and doing discussions and stuff on, on Twitch, I'll have the laptop on displaying the current stream just to make sure that it's coming out in good quality and that everybody can... Um, enjoy the, the stream. So this PC is a bit of a, it's a, bit of a beast. Uh, some of the simple kind of uh, specs behind it that you would want to know probably is the processor. Processor Ryzen 9 uh, 5950X 16 core CPU. The motherboard is an Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus. Um, it obviously has Wi-Fi built in as well, uh, Bluetooth built in. My memory, my RAM is 32 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. My graphics card is a 12 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. Um, my first drive is uh, SSD drive is one terabyte. My second drive is also one terabyte. So obviously that's for storage of games. On I usually use one of my um, my drives for storing my games and then programs on the other. So you have two different places. Uh, the processor's cooling is a Corsair H1 
100 Hydro Series High Performance CPU cooler. Uh, and, and then the sound card is an onboard 6 channel 5.1 high def audio. And that's basically the specs for that. The uh, monitors that I have, my bottom monitor is the monitor that I actually do game on, which is a 2K 144Hz uh, monitor. The top monitor is actually a higher resolution, it's actually a, a 4K, but it's only 100Hz, so the refresh rate is actually slower. So I, that's why I game on the bottom one, even though the quality isn't as high. Because realistically, if I was to play games in 4K and stream, it would be quite strenuous on the system, even though it's quite a beast. So I only usually stream around 720 to 1080 actually, um, and I view it on my computer in 2K at tops. Um, because a lot of the time, although you have a, a, a PC that can do something, you don't always want to push its threshold, you want to keep it in a, in a good place for performance. Because obviously, the higher you put settings, the more strain it is on the system. So especially if I'm streaming all off of one um, computer, one setup, I have to kind of limit the amount of things that are happening or the amount of workload it has. So that's why it's good to um, have an option. Obviously, if I'm just playing myself and I'm not streaming, then I can push those um, elements up and I can have the game really looking as crisp as I like and performing in a way that I want to see. Um, I also use this computer for uh, making music. Not that I've been making music much lately, uh, but it's kind of nice to de-stress. Like if you're just sitting there and you haven't got nothing to do and you want to feel a little bit creative. So I use a, a, a software um, that's called Fruity Loops. Very, very easy to use. Um, I would, you know, I haven't worked with many softwares back in the day for um, making music. Obviously in school we used Cubase. Uh, I know people use Pro Tools and stuff like that. But this is like a very user-friendly um, kind of layout. Like if you actually look at how it looks, it's not like intimidating, it's not boring to look at. A lot of them are very like black and white and plain to look at. And actually, for me, I find that really hard to kind of want to stick to using because it just kind of bores my eyes. So uh, I have a little MIDI keyboard here um, set up so I can obviously play certain notes as well through the MIDI. Uh, if I change the sound to my... Um, my edifiers. So you can also hear different keys. So I can make I can make some music on here. Um, you know, nothing. I'm not uh, amazing at making things, but you can just play around and make music. And obviously, the good thing about making your own music, you can use it on your own platforms like YouTube and stuff, and it's copyright because no one's it doesn't belong to anybody apart from yourself. So you can just have your own stuff. So you can put so many different elements on here. Play around the bass, drums. Just it is what it is, and it's fun. Make little loops. Anyway, so that's the kind of thing you can do on there, so that's fun. Um, streaming. Totally different kind of experience now. So you're coming from being creative yourself, now this is just more like interactive. So I use a, a program called Streamlabs, which is, again, something that I find very user-friendly because I'm not overly techy. Um, I do have a friend that helps me out with a lot of the setup, which I've mentioned a moment ago, Mitch. So if I ever get stuck with kind of these um, layouts and how it looks and the, the visuals, then he'll step in and give me a hand. Uh, you'll actually notice that you can see Maddie now in there uh, because we have our webcam here. Yep, so you're actually on the screen right now. So I have different setups for different games. So obviously on the left hand side here we have something that's called your scenes. So your scenes are determined uh, by which game you're playing to suit the scene. So this is my RE, I'm a massive fan of Resident Evil. So whenever I'm playing Resident Evil, this is how it would look. The game will be on the black backdrop. Obviously, I have my current sponsor in the corner, uh, which is Yamamoto Nutrition. Uh, that also actually re revolves with another sponsor of mine, Tough Wraps. Um, when I go live, if I was to go live in the corner here, it would ask me what game am I playing to stream. Uh, so when I press go live, it would send out an actual um, acknowledgement, announcement to all of my followers or subscribers. That I'm now online playing such and such, um, which is really cool because it means that you always get those uh, people coming into your chat who wish to watch you and they know because they've had an alert. When you do go live, I'll just press this so you can see what will happen is a, a chat box will appear here at the side, so everybody that's in my stream will comment and it will come up here, and I can basically type back or talk back. Um, it's really, really cool. To end the stream, we'll just do that press end stream but then I also have different so if I'm playing Call of Duty my setup will look like this so I'm a, a smaller window uh, again you can see my sponsors are over here and the game will take place here bottom right hand side is my subscriber count for the goal so I have let's say I want 20 people to sub that day 
this number will tick up until it reaches 20 and then I, I understand that I've met the, the goal of how many subscribers have subbed on the day. Um, another cool feature that I have on here is something called Soundtrack by Twitch which is all copyright free music by artists. So if you're doing like a, um, an interlude or taking a break or just talking and you want some music to play that's not copyright music, you can literally come on here, search your different uh, genres, play this music, this proper chill. So I might find myself sitting on here with an intermission like this, just chatting away to the people, the game that I was playing. The game that I was playing will appear in the top right, so they know that is what I was playing, but I'm here and then I'm just chatting and my chat will be here in the box. So it's actually really cool. You can see how you get a bit addicted to this. It's like a nice little setup of its own. So again, this is a soundtrack by Twitch, which allows us as streamers to use music that is non-copyright. Um, there's actually some really cool tunes on there as well. You might even find yourself just sitting here listening to some of that stuff just in your spare time anyway, instead of listening to all the commercial stuff. So that's that. That's what I do on here. Um, little, just a little run through of how I do things on here. Like I have all my, my games in the top right hand corner. Uh, I have my game launchers, like we have things like Battle.net, Riot, Steam, Epic Games. Basically different games have different launchers. So certain games belong to different launchers. Fortnite belongs to Epic Games, Call of Duty uh, belongs to Battle.net. So you'd have to launch that launcher to be able to buy more games for that particular launcher. Um, obviously my other software is here, video editing that I don't do often, but if I have to send something to Maddie, like a voiceover or something, I use Olive, which is a free one, which is not too bad. And then just my regular kind of use things are up here, my tool, toolbar at the bottom, everything I just normally use, very basic stuff. So uh, yeah, that is literally the setup externally. The other things I have is my iDefy um, speakers, two of those, just so we've got a nice bit of like kind of, not surround sound, but like you can have things playing loud. I use the Blue Yeti mic, I've actually had this for years. So this Blue Yeti mic goes back to the days of when I did the Size Game podcast, me and Banji and uh, Luke. So I actually have had this for a long time, it still works perfectly. You still see that a lot of people use the Blue Yetis now. Um, so all I've done is attach that to my own boom arm. So we can play around, you know, if I'm sitting in a different location, if I want to bring it closer, put it away, I can do that. I've uh, got my, my headset here, which is an Audio Technica. I think that, I don't know what ones they are in particular, but I did copy Tim the Tapman on one of his videos because he was using these. Again, most of the games I play, I will play with my headphones on, unless I'm um, on my, like if I'm not playing online with friends, then sometimes I will play loud so that I can just kind of experience it myself. But obviously when you're online with friends using certain software, you're gonna uh, wanna have your headphones on. So speaking of that, what do I do when I'm online? How do I talk to other people? We'll minimize that. I actually use something called Discord. Discord is a uh, like an online kind of community, uh, a place where you can communicate with others by phoning them. I do have my own Discord server as well. So if you check my Instagram out and you wanna look in the link, um, I have a Discord server where a lot of people do check-ins and stuff and we all catch up. So as you can see there, top left is some of my friends in the Discord uh, doing check-in pictures and all discussing it and just basically being a supportive community. So people do their pictures and say, how do you think I'm looking today? I'm so and so many weeks out from a show and then they all kind of give each other their feedback. It's a really cool place. We've got some good bodybuilders in there, some good new, new people, some good people that have been doing it for a long time. Um, Obviously, my friend Mitch is in there. He's one of my moderators, which means he has access to the Discord and my Streamlabs and being able to kind of manipulate things that need to be manipulated if anything goes wrong. So yeah, that's a really cool place. We do have some other little pages in there, which are cool. We've got like food porn. So, you know, people post, you know, pictures of, you know, cookies and stuff like that. Uh, especially when, it's fun to watch when you've got a lot of the guys that are actually dieting right now, because then they'll post really boring looking meals like chicken and rice. Uh, and just take the mick out of each other in general and just say how shit your food looks. So uh, yeah, we've got that. Um, because of me, someone even made a page saying feet pics because they think I'm addicted to feet for some reason. I've got, I've got like a, apparently a fetish for feet. I wouldn't say it's a fetish, I just like a nice pair of feet. I'll clear it out. So uh, yeah, so that's how I communicate with others on there. Oh, another thing that all I have as well is just like for when I am streaming, I do have these kind of lights set up because when I have the blinds shut in the of an evening, um, I put them on just to give me some good light from the front profile. Uh, I have a green screen, which is really cool. It's actually a, uh, an Elgato green screen. If you're looking for a really high quality green screen, this is the best one. I'm sure Maddie could use this actually, if you ever want to borrow it. 
So, Ooh. I nearly fell over because I haven't put things out. But like, if I'm here, and obviously the camera's looking at me, I can literally put myself in any environment, or I can chop away my entire background so that I look like I'm in the game. So if I'm playing like Resident Evil, and I want to be more immersive, and I don't want the stream to be like corrupted by my presence, then I'll put the green screen up to kind of minimalize how much of that screen I take up. Only other little things in here that are stand out really right now. Massive fan of the Ghost of the Shell film. I love that film. I think it's because I like Scarlett Johansson. So, one of those. Got Warzone uh, display. This is from display.com. I have no affiliation with them at all. Wish I did, because they're probably making loads of money. But they are really cool. If you're looking for something that doesn't take up a lot of room, very easy to put on the wall without making any holes or anything, definitely use a display. Um, they do loads of cool designs. You go on there and you type one of your favourite franchises of anything, games, films, um, whatever it may be, they're guaranteed to have something on there. Got my little cactus, Big Luke, Iron Doll. This, the shed is here. So that's my streaming name on Twitch. Um, I'm debating whether I should stream on YouTube, but I don't really want to put off all the bodybuilding audience yet, even though this, this video is not even about bodybuilding. My, my, my Lily, a piece Lily from Louie and Maddie. This is brilliant. It's doing well. Maddie came in and said, look at the size of that. So it's obviously doing its job. Uh, and then this is pretty cool. This is my, um, my Final Fantasy VII, the original game. Three discs, original manual, uh, and the original poster. And apparently these will work if you wanted to use them. The, uh, the seller said that to me, he might be lying just to sell it. But apparently there's like a non-abrasive adhesive that sticks that to that, that you can actually use the discs if you wish to. So Final Fantasy VII was a part of my childhood. I do believe that all of us should hold on to our youth for as long as we can. Because there'll be a day where all we have is our memories. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing that. A uh, picture from the British last year, painted by fella online physique art I think that's really cool and my Mr Olympia name tag so when I was at the Olympia um, the athletes meet and greet that was on my table so if anyone wanted to come over and see me just so they knew who I was we had my name on there so, so that's it last thing uh, the laptop I use Microsoft uh, Surface Pro 2 it is actually touchscreen so it's pretty cool um, I don't use it for much these days I used to use it for everything now it's purely for just, like I say, just checking in on the stream or if I'm going to do an email or something while I'm doing something else on there, so. Or, it's for charging my phone. So, I turn on the whole, the whole laptop just to charge my phone. And that is, oh, oh no, no, wait, 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 there's one more thing. But these are really cool at night time. I think my batteries might have gone in them though, to be fair, because I haven't used them for ages. So anyway, bit of light. At night time, imagine it, see it all on. I don't ever use them though. <laughs> I, you know what, I like, killed myself to put these up. These were so hard to put on because they came separate. So it's this like metal little reed thing and you have to feed a plastic tube into it. I broke half of them um, and they're all in here broken. And I just about managed to get that shit done. So look how many broken ones there are. Not very good at DIY. Uh, last thing I'm actually gonna say as well, this is a little sneak preview to something that we're working on, me and the boys. So this is a, this is a, um, this is a sample of a, uh, of something that could be coming out in the future. I believe it will be. So, uh, just keep your heads up, go follow a page on Instagram called Louis Arjuna. Um, just keep an eye on that page. This is like the first time I've ever uh, mentioned this. So if you like the look of this, go follow Louis Arjuna and uh, you'll find out more in the coming months and weeks. So uh, yeah. Right guys, so that is the setup. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, just wanted to give you a little insight on some of the other things that I do. Um, hopefully this gets the attention of some of the tech geeks out there. I find myself often watching things that are basically all about PCs nowadays. So uh, if any of you guys come into this and watch it as well, um, and you're not experienced with bodybuilding, maybe check out some of my other videos and then you'll see the other side of me, which is bodybuilding. So yeah. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. Any questions about the setup, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. And if you don't follow me on Twitch, do get involved, it is The Shed Is Here. Uh, YouTube, obviously you're already here, so that's great. Uh, but don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, just, yeah, just a massive thank you for stopping by. And if you wanna see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let us know. 
appreciate it guys and I'll see you on the next one.